we're going to start by learning some very basic information about how to sit at the piano and how to hold our hands. So if you open your piano book, that's this one that opens the wide way, we're going to open to page four and five. Page four has a little information here about how to sit at the piano. We want to sit up nice and straight and right in the middle of our keys. Holding our hands, we want to hold our hands in a nice curved shape. Think about holding a little ping pong ball under both of your hands when you're sitting at the piano. Page five talks about our finger numbers. Our thumbs are ones. Then we count out twos, threes, fours, and fives. And we'll have page five. You might want to put a post-it or something there so you can go back and refresh yourself with that one. Go ahead and turn your page now to page six and seven. Something that we're going to use for a landmark to learn how to navigate the keyboard are our sets of two black keys and sets of three black keys. So in our yellow box here on page six, we have some practice directions and you can read those and do what it says on the page. I'm going to briefly show you just kind of a quick and easy way. We're going to start down here at the bottom of your keyboard. We have this one lonely kind of independent key down here. We're not going to count him. We're going to start next to it with a set of two. Then we're going to skip the set of three and play the next set of two. Skip three, two, skip three. Just go all the way up and play all of the sets of two black keys all the way up. When you get to the top, play them back down to the low notes. Two, skip three, two, skip three. Skip three and all the way down. Now we can do the same thing with our set of three black keys. So we have our lonely one key, we have our set of two, then we're going to start with our set of three, skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, and all the way up. There's our last set of three, and then come back down. Do them all again. Some good practice. After a while, you don't even need to worry about telling yourself skip two. You can just identify them really quickly. Page seven is going to talk about low and high. My high notes are to the right. My low notes are to the left. Left and low will start with L, so that's a good way to learn about which one is which. If you're still learning about your left and right, this could be a great opportunity for you to get better at that by knowing about low and high. So those are all of our basics that we're going to learn. You can review these at any time. We're going to move to our next page in the piano book, pages 8 and 9, and start playing our first songs. In your piano book, on page 8 is going to be your first song. It's called First March. And we're going to learn a couple of new things before we get into playing it. Rhythm in music are just combinations of long notes and short notes. We're using a quarter note and a half note. A quarter note is short, like this. And we can just say the word short, 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 short. A half note is long long it gets two counts one two a quarter note and a half note look almost exactly the same but a quarter note is filled in and a half note is open so that's how you can tell the difference and our notes are going to be divided by these little bar lines here we're going to talk more about those in a few weeks when we begin to learn about time signatures. But today, all you need to know is they're just going to be there. They're going to divide your music and you don't really have to worry about them too much. This here is called a double bar line. You have one regular bar line and then one thicker bar line. And it means the end. That means the song is done. Okay, now let's look at page eight and page nine from a different perspective. Now we've learned all the theory that we need to learn about it and now we can play it. If you look at page eight, there's a little chart that says left hand position. So this is my left hand down here where my low notes are. And it has a set of two black keys. On the bottom black key is a three, that's my middle finger. And on the top black key is a two, that's my pointer finger. So these are the notes I'm going to use. 
Remember that your quarter notes are short, half notes are long, and you're just gonna alternate two and three. So I'm gonna play it through for you. Here's first march. And the double bar line means the end. I'm gonna play that again for you, and this time I'm gonna sing the finger numbers, and you can try to sing them along with me. Three, two, three, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. And that's the end. Very good. Let's move on to page nine. This time we're going to use our right hand. And if you look at the little chart that says right hand position, there's a set of three black keys with a two on the bottom a three in the middle, and a four on the top. Same idea. This time we do have an extra note. So instead of it being slow and high, you have three to choose from, so it's a little bit more tricky. So here's Balloon Man. I'm going to play it through for you one time. Double bar line means the end. Let's do it again, and this time I'm gonna sing the finger numbers. Starting on two, here we go. Two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, three, two, three, four, three, two. There you go, there's Balloon Man and First March. You just read music for the first time and you just played two songs at the piano. Very good job. If you turn in your piano book to page 10, we have one more song in this book that we're gonna learn and it's called Three Little Pigs. And this time we're gonna be using both hands. My right hand, two, three, four, will be on a set of three black keys. And my left hand, two, three, four, will also be on a set of three black keys. And don't forget, we want to sit up nice and straight, sit right in the middle, and keep our hands nice and curved. We're going to look at that little yellow box that you see on page 10, practice directions. We're going to clap and count the rhythm first because we have a new note. You see it in the top left corner of page 10. It's called a whole note. And it kind of looks like an egg. It doesn't have a stem like the quarter notes and the half notes. And it gets four counts. So let's clap through three little pigs. Here we go. Second line. So we're really internalizing the beat. We wanna really feel it so we can feel those longer notes and feel the quarter notes that are within them. Let's find our correct hand position. That's number two and we talked about that already. Number three, play and sing using the finger numbers. So we're starting with our right hand. There's two, so let's sing the finger numbers. Two, three, four, three, two, two, three, four, three, left hand, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, off. One of the more challenging places in this song is in the left hand when you jump from your four all the way up to a two. That's the first time we've skipped a note instead of having them all be in order. So watch out for that. And let's move on to number four in your practice directions. Play and count the rhythm aloud. So we already clapped it, but let's think more about our rhythms now because we've already done the finger numbers. And let's say short for quarter notes and we'll say long for half notes and for the whole note. Short, 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 long, long. Short, 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 long, 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 long. There we go. And then the 
last practice direction, number five, is to play and sing the words out loud. So when we move our eyes down here to the lyrics of the song, three pigs are out playing in the sun, our notes are going to run on autopilot a little bit. So you kind of have different parts of your brain working to be able to do this. Find your finger position, sit up nice and straight, curved hands, and we're going to sing the lyrics this time. Three pigs are out playing in the sun. Watch them chase each other, having fun. There you go, guys. There's three little pigs. Now, if you open up your pink performance book to page two and page three, we have a couple of extra songs that we're going to look at. Page two of your performance book with your left hand, we're going to play Lazy Lion. We have a lot of L sounds going on here because we're also using our left hand. So find your set of three black keys, four, three, two. You can just kind of squish them all down to make sure you have the right spot. And we're going to sit right in the center. We're going to have a nice curved hand. And we're going to pay attention to our finger numbers. Double bar line means the end. Let's sing the finger numbers this time. Four, three, two, three, four. sing the lyrics. Now we got to have our playing part going on autopilot so that we can sing the right words. Here we go, Lazy Lion. Lazy Lion lying there, please get up and comb your hair. There's Lazy Lion, not too shabby, huh? I think y'all did a great job. Last song for the day, page three in your performance book is Buzzing Bees, and we're going to use our right hand, two, and three, on a set of two black keys. So sit up nice and straight, sit in the center of the piano, and have a nice curved hand. I'm going to play it through for you one time, starting on three. Double bar line at the end means the end of the piece. Let's sing the finger numbers this time, buzzing bees. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. And our last step, let's now sing the lyrics. So our playing is going on autopilot. Now we have to be singers. Buzzing, buzzing, here we go. Buzzing, buzzing from the tree, bees buzz noisily. There it is. You just learned two more songs, so now you have learned five songs on the piano today during your first lesson. Very good. So the last thing we're going to do in our lesson today is do a couple of worksheets out of our theory book. So I like to close my piano so I can kind of use it as a desk. And I've got my theory book here and I'm going to open up to page two. And I won't need my piano, but I am going to need my pencil. So I'm just going to walk you through. We're going to look at page two. Number one, draw a circle around each set of two black keys. And they've done the first one for you. So we just want to go in here and circle all of our sets of two. Just practice finding them. Number two, draw a circle around each set of three black keys. Same thing. Just go in there with your pencil. You can use a crayon or a marker or a pen, whatever you want to use in here. It's your book. 
Find all those sets of three. Number three, fill in all the sets of two black keys. This will take you a little longer. So find your set of two and just color them in. It doesn't have to be perfectly filled in, but you just want to identify those sets of two black keys. Number four, same thing, but this time we're gonna do it with the sets of three. Fill in all your sets of three black keys. There's one set of three. Sometimes when you're doing this, it can just look like a lot of white keys. It's tricky to find which ones are the black keys. You gotta really focus. There we go. There's all our sets of three. So that was pretty simple. Let's move down to, or excuse me, turn your page to page three. Now this is not a worksheet, this is an exercise and you've already done this. This is finding your sets of two and three black keys up and down the keyboard. So if you like, you can read through that page and you can practice that. Let's turn the page one more time to page four, rhythm and music. We're only gonna talk about quarter notes and half notes on this page. Next week, we're gonna get back into those whole notes that we learned about. So our quarter note, we're gonna practice drawing these. They give you one here that's in gray. Now we're gonna practice, we're just gonna draw the note head, which is just a circle, and you fill it in, and then you put a stem up on the right. Let's do that again. Even though we're learning how to read music, it's also important to learn how to draw a lot of our musical symbols. We're gonna to continue to do that in our theory book as we learn. Number nine, we're gonna draw half notes now. Now these look just like quarter notes, but they're not filled in, so it's a step easier. So draw your note head, put a stem on it. And these don't have to be perfect. I'll tell you right now, I am not a visual artist. I'm a musician, I'm not very good at drawing. Some of my students are very good artists, but I'm definitely not. So I have my half notes and I have my quarter notes written in. Number 10, now this one is also optional, kind of like your last page. Use any three black keys to make up a melody for this song. Write your finger numbers under the notes for right hand or over the notes for left hand. So if you are a really creative person and you wanna get in there and just make up a melody, I would encourage you to do this. Um, you don't have to, you've already played several songs, but this could be a fun one to work on if you'd like some extra practice. So good job with your theory, everyone. That's all we're gonna do. Thank you for joining me today for your first piano lesson. We played three songs out of your piano book, two songs out of your performance book, and a couple of pages from theory. So practice your piano and your performance songs a little bit each day. And next week, you can move on to the next lesson and we'll learn something new. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you next time.